Welcome to Pack TV. I'm Landon. And I'm Ian. And today is March 5th, and it's International Pancake Day. Students, prom is this Saturday, so hopefully you have asked and have gotten your tickets. Tickets are $20 at the bookkeeper, and this Friday is the prom assembly. So don't miss out because they are also presenting our basketball teams, the Region 1 trophy. The student-directed one-act plays are having auditions today after school. This is for anyone, and we mean anyone. If you don't have, you don't have to be in a theater class, just audition. The one-act plays will be performed in late April. Here's a video. Hey, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Today after school, in the theater shack, there's auditions for the student-directed one-acts. I want you to be there. Right here, in there. And now it's time for the news with the paw print. Hey guys, welcome to the paw print. On Sunday in Manila, Philippines, 1,529 turtles were found in four pieces of abandoned luggage at the International Airport um, on a Philippine airline flight from Hong Kong. The various kinds of turtles were turned over to the Department of Environment and Natural Resources Wildlife Traffic Monitoring Unit. Being caught um, illegal wildlife trading are punishable for up to two years in prison and a 200,000 pesos fine or 3,861 American U.S. dollars. Officials have no idea um, who is responsible for this, but they hope to find and catch him or her her soon. Over to Carson. Thanks, Cayman. The Jonas Brothers are getting back together, for now. They released a new single this weekend called Sucker, and it has already been number one on multiple top charts for top songs, with 42 million views. Their last released album was in 2010 for their soundtrack on their Disney Channel TV show, Jonas in L.A., Fans are wondering if this has just sparked a new career path for the Jonas Brothers or if it was just a publicity stunt. And that is it for the paw print. Back over to you guys at the desk. If you are planning on running for student government, there will be a mandatory election meeting March 15th at 7 a.m. in Tory Pollard's room. If you have any questions, see uh, Pollard. And our German club has some news for us. They're making schnitt schnitzel next Tuesday. What is schnitzel? Guess you have to find out. And seniors, if you are interested in attending the U of U or the OWATC this fall, then go to ktsutah.com or download the Keys to Success app and apply for the scholarship. Do this before this Friday, March 8th. Also this Friday is the deadline for the Moyes scholarship, so get mailing those envelopes from the Counseling Center. If you have any questions about any of these scholarships, head over to the Counseling Center. And now let's take it over to Jacob for Sports in the Locker Room. Thanks, guys. The boys' basketball team took on Pleasant Grove in the semifinals on Friday. And they hung tough, but in the end, Pleasant Grove took the victory. If you see any of the coaches and players, congratulate them on a great year. The boys' soccer team hosted Bonneville yesterday and came back from a 2-1 halftime deficit to defeat the Lakers 4-2. Goals from Cole Cedarholm, Dylan Bartisti, and two goals from Talon Smith helped with the W. They play at Woods Cross tomorrow afternoon. Today, the boys' tennis team has their first match of the year here at home against Box Elder. Let's all head out and watch our boys play. And our girls' lacrosse team has their first game ever tomorrow at, as just Fremont High School. They will play Ridgeline at West Haven Elementary at 5 p.m. Other spring sports are starting soon. This weekend, the baseball and softball teams will be competing in St. George, and our track team has a meet next Wednesday, and girls golf will begin in a few weeks. And finally, Drill will be having a tryout, tryout clinics on March 18th and 19th, and there will be tryouts held on March 20th. That's it for sports. Back to you two at the desk. Thanks. And the IRS continues to hire new employees. If this interests you, check out the job board in the CTE lab. The OWATC is holding an expo on Thursday, March 19th in the Health Technology Building, so go and tour the labs and training programs and get information on scholarships and financial aid. Any questions, go talk to the CTE office. And students, if you have a teacher that has influenced you, then come on down to the office and fill out a teacher shout-out ticket. Let's recognize the great things they have done. 
And if you want to be a part of PAC TV, you should take any of Smith's broadcasting video and digital media classes. They're awesome. Go and talk with your counselor today. And here's the weather with Micah. Hi. Thanks. We're standing outside. The sun's shining. It's pretty bright outside. Arm. But I guess that was a lie. Thanks, Utah. Back to you two at the desk. And today is Character Card Tuesday. Here are this week's winners. Kaysen Actor, Shaylee Atkinson, Misha Child, Allison Cottle, Hayden Dussel. Layla Green, Josh Gunnell, CJ Heaps, Layla Horton, and Brindley Coons. Michaela Lindhart, Jarek Mayerhofer, Bailey Miller, Alanis Monroe, Caitlin Palmer. Cody Peters, <laughs> Havili Reeves, uh, Alan Taylor, Kennedy Vaughn, and Kayla Walker. And our teacher winners are Trina Ro Roche, Gina Lott, Tori Pollard, Amber Taylor, and Kristen Mori. And just to remind, oh, and just to remind you that St. Patrick's Day is in 21 days, or 12 <laughs> days, <laughs> 12. That's it for Pack TV. Remember to check out our videos and polls on Twitter at Pack TV 2019. And have a great day, Wolves. <laughs>